Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9, and welcome back to the bonus videos for Advanced Wars Dual Strike. Man, I haven't recorded this in a while. <laughs> Let's see, where were we? Ah, that's right. We're going to do the Money Survival mode this time. Beat all the maps with limited funds. Basically, you have 500,000 500, gold to beat 11 maps. The trick to, to this mode is you have to be smart with your funds. You're going to try to find the cheapest way to get through the map. You have as many turns and as much time as you need. Here, money is the issue. Now, I've been saving this this uh, duo for this for uh, this mode because this is going to be the last of the survival modes. So we're going to take the uh, sisters of Orange Star, you could say. My girl Rachel and Nell, her older sister. And you see they have three tag stars together. They work extremely well. Rachel's big sister and supreme commander of Orange Star. Nell's an able commanding officer with a superb sense of fashion. Sometimes strikes with more force than expected. <laughs> is the first to tell you she was born lucky. And that's Nell's big trick. And it was hunted, it was hinted, not hunted, hinted at during the campaign. Where Rachel would always say that, yeah, her big sister was always lucky. Or that luck always had something to do with it. Well, that's Nell's calling card. It's like she has the luck skill permanently. Throw luck on and have even more. Nell is extremely lucky. And her CO powers are even more. You have to do with even more luck. Her regular CO power is Lucky Star. Improves her chance to strike with increased power power and destroy her enemies. Lucky! Her super CO power is Lady Luck. Which is, I guess you could say that's who she is. Improves her chance to strike with massive firepower and destroy her enemies. Very lucky. With Lady Luck on, Nell could take a tank and maybe destroy a mega tank. It's She can be re ridiculously lucky making her a very fun and a very fun CO to use as for skills now unfortunately Nell is rank 0 haven't used her yet for skills for this mode I do recommend luck you want to try to do as much damage as possible with smaller units also you'll want to take uh, you'll you'll want to take sale price or if you're rank 9, there is a bigger version of sell price, which will reduce cost even more. This will help you mitigate some of the cost of units, which is, well, it's the name of the game here. Other than that, you'll want to take what you want. However, do not take anything that gives you money. Funds from bases are hurt, uh, plus a hundred. Combat pay, damage foes to earn cash. Anything that earns you cash will not work in this mode. I said that very deliberately. <laughs> this is very important. I'm going to say it one more time. Anything that gets you money will not work in this mode. So, don't think you can take Colin and suddenly turn 500,000 to almost 750,000. No, 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 no. No, don't think you're going to be able to do anything like that. Or bring Sasha for a little extra, excuse me, little extra cash. That doesn't work. Hence why luck. Now this isn't, doesn't give you cash. It's just lowering the cost. So sale price will work. Two other skills. Let's take, let's try to get more damage out of our direct attack units. And, hmm. More direct fire defense. Why not? I honestly don't know what I'll take here. Maybe star power. Fill the power meter uh, more quick. That could be pretty good to take. I'll just I'll just stick with those two. And unfortunately, nothing for now. So we'll take the I'm gonna call them the sisters of Orange Star and give this mode a shot. <laughs> and here you are. My mission is to destroy your deployment capabilities and wait for your forces to waste away. No sense dragging our heels. Neo tanks, 
Move out. So we're gonna be fighting fighting Jess, and as we all know, Jess is really good with her with her tanks. She has three Neo tanks here. And all we have is a lone mid tank. So prepare to get pummeled. Now we do have two bases. Remember, we're trying to conserve cash. Huh. We have a couple of counters and some silos. Okay. It doesn't take a genius to figure this one out. As as you can see here, it does work to take along sale price. Now, could you build mega tanks and just slam slam the, the neo tank? Sure, you could. But remember, you're trying to conserve as much money as possible. Now, I'm just going to say this up front right here. I'm not too terribly good at this mode either. <laughs> uh, th these these survival modes, I'm really rusty on. I used to be able to do this one pretty darn well. And I'll try to remember a couple of tricks. But uh, this survival is not is not my strong, my strong suit. Enter. So what I'm going to do is build just two infantry. Hopefully this will be enough. And we're going to go grab the missile silos, hit the neo tanks, weaken them, and then try to finish them off with the with the medium tank. That's the plan. Now we don't have to worry about the HQ getting captured. There's no no threat of that. There has no infantry. All Jess has are these three neo tanks. Now, we take pot shots. And another one. There we go. Remember, don't worry about days or turns here. You're just trying to conserve cash. And we're going to hit this one. Now we're we're not going to launch again. Here's why. Because she's going to take the time to combine. See? The CP will do that. Doesn't want to have just a 1 HP Neo tank. So we'll take advantage of that. There we go. Now all Jess has is a 3 HP Neo tank. Sit there. There you go. 2 HP Neo tank. Another reason you don't want luck is for situations like this, where you can try to use an infantry to do more damage than you think. Nell's very good at that. <laughs> Unfortunately, she doesn't have any skills. There we go. And you get lucky. And that does it for that map. <laughs> don't like facing sisters? You're just unlucky. Weird. I feel a little guilty. <laughs> like I said, the sisters work extremely well together. So you see, all we spent, it would have been 2k, but because of the, the skill, we spent a little less than that. Now, you may think, oh, it's just 5%, what's the big deal? Over 11 maps? You may end up saving quite a bit of cash. Now for map two. Looks like we're going to be facing Sammy. They're here. The wait's over, lads. And this time, the mini cannons are ours. Wait for the enemy to bog down, then hit them hard. Now we're facing Sammy. What she's going to do is, well, it should be obvious. She's going to load up the infantry onto the APC... And then drag the APC over to the HQ. 
pretty simple. Now, the problem is we can't just build infantry and go stop it because the infantry won't be able to break out of the cannon. And the infantry is going to get there pretty quick thanks to the thanks to the APC. Now, hmm, the best way to do this, and we're going to try to cut cost. See, even tanks won't work that well. One, two, three. Hmm. There's probably a <laughs> there's a really good way to do this, I'm sure, but like I said, not <laughs> not the best at this mode. So I'm just gonna try different things. I'm gonna build one artillery. Ah, that would have worked. It's a little expensive, but you can build the rockets here on this base. As long as you're using anybody but Max, you can reach the HQ and Sammy won't be able to take it. Pretty simple. And we'll build the tank. And just hope I have enough time. And we're going to fire at this cannon. In turn. She's going to unload the infantry. We're going to take another shot at the with the artillery. That'll break open the uh, mini cannon. Now, <laughs> the tank's going to get shot, but so be it. In turn, seven four, and the APC is going to run away. Of course. All right, there. Let's be here instead. Down to two. In turn. Now again, Sammy can't build any units, so there, threat gone. Now we just have to kill the APC. There we go. There goes that. Now I'm gonna take this time to show something off. Even though I really don't need to. What about repairing units? If you're curious. Yes, it still takes funds. So you'll want to keep that in mind as well. I really don't want the tank getting hit. You gotta watch out for the for the cannons because there's a lot of places you can get hit. Oh, we'll just have the tank at full HP. I probably regret spending this cash later, but there we go. Then it's just ta chasing down the APC. up here and the APC is gonna run probably no okay good fire at the APC and that'll end this map I think that was pretty cheap just using a tank we had to repair it a little bit and a uh and an artillery. Yeah, that was a pretty, pretty good way to go. Because if you did the rockets, like I said earlier, 
Then you'd have to find a way to get them out and then chase down the APC. You may be able to just one shot the APC as it ca as it comes around. Hmm. Oh, I think that worked fairly well. And we'll get some more points because of the the cannon. Spent a little over 16k. All right. I said you probably could have done that a lot, a lot cheaper, but it's it's all about playing this mode. Like like I said, I'm rusty on this. It's about playing this mode several times and trying to find ways to save just a little bit of cash here and there. <sighs> hey, sis! Enemy troops have arrived. It doesn't pay to panic, Colin. We'll handle them together. So, the sisters versus a sister and brother. Which one's which? Okay, Colin is, is, the, is the blue team. Okay. Colin has an infantry, some artillery, a medium tank, and a mega tank. Yikes. The issue here is going to be this infantry. What Colin's going to want to do is move the infantry along this route and then start taking comm towers. And then once he has a whole bunch of comm towers, well, that's it. You're just done. Meanwhile, his sister Sasha is going to move this bad force of artillery, rockets, a neo tank, and a mega tank through the woods and hit these units. Let's see, how do we want to play this? Hmm. This may be a little risky, but what I'm going to do for right now is just build two infantry. And then maybe a set of another two infantry. We're basically going to take as many comm towers as we can. The force is going to slow this force down, both forces. And then use the power of the comm towers to just to have way too much firepower for them. If needed, I may sink the cash into like a battleship and just grease this force here, but uh, let's let's wait on that. And then Sasha will go. Okay. Bum bum. Start taking this one. And we'll build another set of infantry. That may be unneeded, but uh, for this first pl first playthrough of this, yeah, I've not even practiced this. <laughs> You're seeing the first attempt I've done at money survival in years. So we're gonna want as many com towers as possible. With enough of them, we can make the infantry unstoppable. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. One more set. Because here comes the force. We can use maybe a few of the infantry just as a stopgap. So take this. Take this. you down here. You can take this one. You up here. You start taking this one. And here's where somebody like Nell or just having the lucky skill can really come in handy. Okay. So you can plan on about oh How does it look to be? About about day five, the for the enemy forces are going to be at your front doorstep. That's about uh, that's that's what you're looking at. Hmm. 
Now, the other tricky thing about this is going to be this part over here. You do have a tank and a neo tank, and with with as you try to get as many comp towers as you can. That way, these are definitely a force because the only way you're going to send units over to this side is via a lander. That's more money. <laughs> So we're going to try not to have to buy a lander. We'll see how well that goes. Like I said, if I if I have to buy anything else, it'll be a battleship and I'll just fire at the units. That way you can outshoot the rockets. They can outshoot the artillery. You'll be able to outshoot everything else and just be able to sit at a pretty safe spot and keep firing. So uh, that's what I recommend. That's what I see right now I would build several sets of infantry take take the comm towers maybe I built one too many sets of infantry but take as many comm towers as you can and try to fend off the enemy if you have to build anything else I would go battleship even though it's expensive if you bought let's say a lander and a medium tank you could buy those two I'd rather have a battleship instead Okay, let's see how this plays out. Yep, here comes the medium tank. Didn't get lucky. That's fine. Okay, here comes Sasha. Okay. Due to the different movement speeds, you're going to want to take advantage of this. The rockets are going to be lagging behind. And then so will the mega tank to some degree. The neo tank's going to come first, so... Try to do as much damage to it as you as you can. Thanks to the There you go. Thanks to the comm towers. I should have took this one first just in case. Whoops. Take the comm towers. You see I one shot at that Neo tank. Now we're ready for the rest of the force. Let's see. Let's hit this infantry. Another thing you could do, instead of going the, well, you could still go the comm tower route, you could build something, uh, like some infantry. Stop it, stop the infantry here, and the units won't be able to move through, because these are all ground units. Then you could use something like, oh, artillery, or, or rockets, preferably rockets, and shoot down the artillery and the, and everything else. Just using, well, like a tank. The infantry may get one-shotted, but you know something you could just use to block this path off. Block the path off here. Have a unit there. They have your rocket or artillery unit there. It says zero percent. Get lucky. Yep. Yeah, I'd been better off doing a stopgap. Because I still have to contend with the uh, with the mega tank. Okay. In that case, see, I could build the rockets now. I think this side will be okay. Hmm. Probably should just build rockets, but I'm gonna build a battleship. Is the artillery firing? A pipe runner may also be be a, a pretty good idea now that I look at it. You could build a pipe runner here for 1900 and you could fire from this corner this corner and hit the units and you could take out the artillery and then take out the other units as they come cr come across that may be that that could work fairly well too I think use use a pipe runner and then again you could just place some type of stop stop gap right here like a tank or you could place it right here. Right here would probably be better because of the woods and get some extra defense. 
and then block the path off for, from the Blue Moon army. See, we don't want you firing. We'll wait there. And now the infantry are just going to play wall. Okay, how much damage do you do, tank? 111. That'll work. There we go. We're going to want the Neo tank to hit the Mega tank. Enter. Yep. There they went. Yeah, kind of figured that was going to happen. <laughs> Hence why I killed the artillery with the regular tank and not the Neo tank. Now we can swing. 55, not bad. That'll work. <laughs> I'm going to have to pay for repairs, but... Should have fired with the battleship first. Fire with the battleship, then hit with the Neo tank. That way the Neo tank doesn't doesn't take damage save on repair cost see it's all the little things like that that you're that you have to think about in this mode because you have to do every little thing it takes to save money in turn and then we're just going to wait for these units to come up here and then shoot at them with the battleship so this is going to go now In turn. Ah, didn't die. Oh, now it's dead. Hit the mega tank. They also the the other good thing about this blue force, the blue moon force, is that it's commanded by Colin. Remember, his units are weaker than normal. Which can help you out. 177, goodbye. The Green Earth Army has lost. Ow. In turn. Ah, uh, don't be annoying. <laughs> wow. You get over here. <laughs> oh, great. And turn. I don't want to do this, but I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to make you make a choice. Fire. Go away. Eventually, you could make them run out of gas and then then you'd be fine, but this is an LP and I <laughs> <laughs> I kind of need to move things along, even if it costs me a little bit of cash. But for those of you playing at home, uh, don't be afraid to just wait them out. 
Because how much does it have left? Nine? And it's going to have to come back this way to get... To get fuel. Huh! Power of money! Say 18,000. Huh. Didn't swing. I would have swung. <laughs> if it was my last unit. Do as much damage to the tank as you possibly can. <laughs> Go away. Four. Yeah, it could have gone better. Could have gone a lot better, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I spent. I probably spent way too much there. Ah oh, well. Yep. I told you what I what I thought about the map, and I'll try to point out tricks as I trips or tips as I see them. Cold shoulder. Hey, it's Nell. <laughs> it seems luck has brought you here to me. I hope you'll spend lots of money here. Who knows? Maybe fortune will smile upon you for your generosity. Eh, grumble, grumble, grumble. Now, here's where the mode can start to get difficult. As you can see, the enemy has bases. Which means you just can't try to destroy the units they have. You're going to have to stop the production. It's like you're playing a map, except you're not getting any more money. So, be quick, be efficient. It'd be nice if you got more, more money from your cities, but that would really cheapen the mode. Unfortunately, Nell has 13 cities. She's, she's going to be getting... The enemy, Nell, is going to be getting 13k a turn. Huh. Eight, just short. Uh... Hmm... You're going to want to try to cover up the bases as quickly as possible. That's... That's what I see. And to go along with that, I'm I'm going to play Tank Rush. In turn. And it's probably a gross, you know, waste of money, it might be, but if you let this drag out too long, I think you're just in for for pain. I really do. Because Nell's not going to run out of cash. Hey, look, it's a Neotank. I didn't need to see that. Like at all. You're dead. Let's build an APC and an infantry unit. Wait right there. And turn. I didn't want you to come this way. H2 Neo Tank. Tank unit. Okay. This seems like one of those maps you're going to want to make the best use out of your uh, CO gauge you possibly can. can't hit the city. So let's sit there. Die. Um. Hmm. 
in the hope you'll build more infantry. Remember, the CPU will want a certain amount of infantry type units out. So, try to kill infantry units and stop Nell from making bigger stuff like, oh, look, a Neo tank. One Neo tank of my own. Go. She would go up there. Hate you too. More tanks. All right. Let's go. I'm gonna send you packing. Now the two sisters have three stars. One thirty. Windfall. Okay. Let's go. Kill the tank. Oh, come on. Fine. Kill the tank. Let's move the APC up. Supply, why not? Okay. at this tank. Lucky! Nice. Okay. One, two, three. Should be fine. <laughs> Let's get down to business. Swap. Let's get really lucky. You're dead. Let's drop the unit off there. Kill you. And kill you. It's probably a way better way to do that. I'm gonna just keep saying that, I know. Huh. We won. Lucky us. Don't be such a downer, Nell. Smiley won't kill you. Yeah, 59k there. That's only map 3, folks. Ha, <laughs> I meant to click save. Whoops. And we're going to be... <laughs> wow, the two people I'm using back to back. We're going to be facing Rachel. Duh. Facing Rachel, uh, how long has this video been going on? Okay, gonna split it here, so be right back.